Yo, what's up? It's Ryan, and uh, I'm going to show you my world machine to Blender workflow. Um, there wasn't a great video that I could find easily on how to use world machine with Blender, so I thought uh, I'd go ahead and make one. Um, just for reference, this is something that I've done with world machine. So <clears throat> take it as you will. Uh, also did other things like this. So if you like these results, stick around, I guess. Uh, so right here, here's World Machine and all of its glory. Uh, this is a pretty simple setup. Just pretty sure this is the uh, a 2017. It's lagging a little bit. I, <laughs> okay. Um, <clears throat> so right here, I've got my my mountain node set up. That's pretty basic. It's just two generators with a combiner into two erosion channels into another combiner. Um, so yeah. Uh, so what I did is I took the generated uh, terrain and put it into this combiner and put it out into a height output right here. And uh, I set it to just a TIFF file right here, 16-bit, saved it. And that ends up being, uh, or was it saved? My bad. Documents are it. I've got far too many folders everywhere. Um, and it ends up looking like this, which looks like nothing, but to, the, to Blender it looks like everything. Um, so I saved it to that TIFF 16-bit, highly recommended. It. It's a massive file, comparatively, but it's well worth the detail. Um, and then I have another one with, I, I've just got this colorizer that's based on the height of the, uh, of the mountain. And then I've got a bitmap, and I export as a 16-bit PNG, and that looks like this. And I've got, I, this is just the project file. Then I've got another uh, thing over here. It's, I took the input from the flow map to a colorizer, and it's just black and white, and another bitmap output. And this looks like, uh, sorry, this looks like that, which looks insane, because it kind of is. Um, so then what you can do, you can go into Blender, after you have all of those saved. Let's make sure I'm actually recording. All right, go into Blender after it's all saved and ready to go. Make a plane, make it relatively big, um, subdivide it, set it to simple right here, uh, put the view up to six and hit apply. And now you've got pretty heavily subdivided plane. Uh, hit go into edit mode, hit U, unwrap, um, and then now you've got an unwrapped subdivided plane. Uh, and then you go into that modifier right here, add a displacement modifier, and then hit new texture, texture, image or movie, uh, open, old machine documents, and then go find your height map, the, the TIFF that you saved. And then you can already kind of see like it's taking shape. Um, I take the mid-level, put it at zero to bring it back up to the original height or the original location. Um, so you can see it's already, like, you're getting somewhere with this, but obviously doesn't have, like, the insane amount of detail that a 16-bit TIFF is supposed to have, you know? <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> wow. So uh, go ahead, add another modifier. And add a multi resolution. And then this is basically a sub subdivision surface uh, modifier, but for this it works better because you can um, you can go past six if you can or need to. Um, make sure you put it on top of the displacement because if, if it's under and you subdivide, it just kinda subdivides the the basic layout. But um 
uh, if you put it on top and you subdivide, all of a sudden you start bringing out like the incredible level of detail that World Machine can give you. Um, I think I'm going to keep it at this just for like the recording's sake. Or right, screw it. So yeah, you can you can see very easily like the the detail is getting brought out. And I usually go to five, but as you can see, like we're already at a million vertices, so it gets kind of crazy. Um, then what I do is I add a material to it. Um, go in here. Uh, you already unwrapped it, so you don't have to worry about that now. You add an image texture, color, color, open. You'll find your texture.png, and then. If you look at the rendered view, give it a second, obviously. Then you have your texture applied, and this is just like the height is being affected by the color. And then if you shader, mix shader, and add a diffuse, but you have uh, that flow map as the factor then it looks like this give it a second and you can get that sort of effect um and then like the vibrance and everything is totally up to lighting really because as you can see this is super dull but as soon as you make it like a white sky then it's like ridiculously vibrant um so yeah and then you just like set up your camera wherever you need and then you're good to go. Um, real fast, if you do take the plane and then like put it, excuse me, at like five, or even put the render up, uh, it'll eat up your memory really fast. I'm fortunate enough to have a GTX 1080 uh, with eight gigs of RAM, so I can I can shove a lot of vertices through that. But if you don't have like as powerful of a card. Um, you might want to export lower image height maps or lower resolution height maps and also stick around four subdivisions if you get to five or six like just double that and then double that again and then you're all of a sudden you're at seven gigs of VRAM and yeah it's no fun um, but yeah that's how I do it um, obviously tweak it make it your own uh, but yeah, hope you enjoyed, hope you learned.